Hi everybody, welcome back. Today for you, I have got a chit chatty get ready with me. So if you wanna see how I got this look here today and spend a little bit of time chit chatting, make sure to grab yourself something to drink, something to snack on, play along if you want, but let's get into this. So let's get started with a little Urban Decay Quick Fix, my favorite little pre-primer to put on. I do about three little squirts. Pet. It doesn't taste the greatest. <laughs> then I kind of just pat it in. Next up, I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish into my pore spots where basically I have visible pores. I kind of pat that on. And as you can see, I'm still battling with some skin issues. I've been, keep popping up with these. And I think, um, I think I touched on it in my last video. I can't even remember now that I'm pretty sure that it's the result from all the cortisone shots I've been getting in my um, shoulder. Since the foundation we're gonna be using today is gonna be pretty mattifying, I'm gonna go ahead in with the Smashbox um, Radiance Primer. And I'm just gonna like put that on my high points. This is in one of my Project Pans, that little Mini Madness one, so I'm glad I'm finding some use out of it. So foundation I'm using, this one shouldn't be a surprise, huh? The Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. I am gonna take a little bit of the, this is the NYX Dark Circle Corrector, and I'm gonna take just a little bit of that and kind of press a little bit on there because that is kind of dark. It's kind of bruised around it because I couldn't leave it alone. I thought it would just pop. I, I was sadly mistaking. So I'm gonna go in with, ow, ow, stuck in my hair. Lovely. I'm gonna go in with one pump to start. I am wear testing some new foundations, actually two of them. So now let's go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use two of them, which I tend to do this. I love this combination with these two. It's the uh, Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the shade medium on that. And I'll do like four dots of this. And then I'll put in a little bit of the Infallible Pro Glow. And this one has more of a yellow undertone. So as always, I'm gonna let this settle in for a minute and get good and tacky and I'm gonna move on to my brows. And this is a new product I've been trying out. This is the Total Temptation Brow, what are you? Brow Definer, and this is the new one from Maybelline. I'm loving this like Total Temptation line of packaging from Maybelline. It's kind of this matte pink, it's so pretty. And, and I don't know what's gone up here lately, y'all, but my eyebrow over here that used to be my most difficult eyebrow, which is why I always do it first because it's my hardest one to do, um, it's come to work. And this sucker over here has clocked out. I don't know what's going on <laughs> in the universe, but my good eyebrow over here has decided to clock out. She's not going to come to work anymore. I'm going to take, I'm going to actually use a brush. Sometimes I brush, sometimes I sponge, sometimes I do a little bit of both, all three, including my fingers. So we'll start off with the brush. I'm using the Real Techniques. This is the Deluxe Concealer Brush. Anybody else have little bitty dogs? I know, I know my, uh, my girl Lena does. Lena723. She is fabulous, by the way. I know she's got little chihuahuas because hers look very much like my little chihuahuas. I'm sure she's used to this. <laughs> I'm sure this doesn't bother her. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and I blended that out. I'm going to go ahead and take the sponge over it just lightly, just to make sure we're still really blended in because I really don't want to pick up any product. So now I'm going to go ahead and set this. This is, I've been trying this one out. It's the Maybelline Fit Me the Loose. This here to set some powder down. This is the e.l.f. Small Taper Brush. Now the only thing is I kind of, if I wanted to do this for brightening under here, like really good highlighting brightening, I need to get a different shade. I got the shade Medium but that's pretty much kind of my skin tone. So if I wanted to brighten, I need to get like the next shade up, which I believe is medium light, which makes no sense. I should not be buying anything that has the words light in it, but such is my skin this winter. I just lose a little bit of melanin every year, just a little bit. 
it looks like they ran out of toner when they when you look at pictures of all of us together when you get to me it's one of these things is not like the others <laughs> so i've got my tartiste pro glow kit here and you know what i have never used the cream one over here i gouged my finger in it by accident and i've swatched it but i've never used used it so i really kind of want to use it today especially with this foundation because i don't set it with powder i figure this is a really good opportunity to play with this one so i'm going in with my real techniques this is the the contour brush hey who'd have known i'm really not sure how to go on this now i do know that the powder is very deceiving so I'm gonna tap this off a couple of times I can always add more and I'm just gonna really take this around my hairline I'm gonna kind of dot it on that's a really really good contour color I'm not even gonna lie that is really 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 good but then I'm also gonna take my sponge and make sure that it's blunt out blent with a T that is a word so yeah, I'm going to actually go in with this pointed foundation brush instead, the one I use for the concealer. Tap that off about three times. And then I'm going to kind of draw it. Oh, 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 Jesus. I'm going to draw it on. This can go one of two ways, guys. And then I'm going to tap it with my sponge. I definitely like using it with that little brush. I feel like I have a little bit more control. Because it's like, it's creamy, but it's not so creamy that you've got like a lot of time to play with it. So... I do like this though. I mean, cause if you're going for a long wear and a pretty natural looking, yeah, it's cause we're going all natural here. Yeah, that actually, that just looks like a shadow. That looks really good. I am going to take just a little bit of that loose powder. I'm just going to pick some up and swirl it in the cap. Just go over those spots. So I went ahead and primed my eyelids using my e.l.f. liner primer, sealer stick. And I thought since it's a Valentine's, yes, with an M day, that we're going to play with the Modern Renaissance palette because it has all of these beautiful colors that make me think of Valentine's Day. So I'm going to take the shade here, Tempera, put that on my brush, set the lid. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to use, I think, golden ochre today for my transition color it's the shade here next to tempera so you guys have any type of valentine's day traditions that you do like did you already celebrate this past weekend since valentine's day is on a wednesday this year do you like go out to eat go to the movies just spend time with your honey snuggle your cats your dogs any of that stuff do you do all the cliche stuff like dozen roses box of chocolates type deal thing so I'm going to come into the palette and I'm going to go into the shade red ochre here we're going to pop that all over the lid I'm going to take a little bit of that up into the deep 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 part of my crease and work that because I think we're gonna do semi halo-ish type look today I don't know I haven't we're, we're figuring this out as we go along so here we go this Valentine's Day unfortunately for me I will be spending it at the surgeon's office because my shoulder is not healing. Uh, if anything, the tear has gotten a little worse. It hurts like poop all the time. Like you see me using my hand, but if you look closely, the shoulder is stationary. Like you might see me animate. I can move this thing at the elbow all day long, but it stays stationary by my side because even moving it around is excruciating, riding. You would not believe the muscles you use when you write something down. It's ridiculous. It's excruciating. So I have been sent to the surgeon and I'm going to see the surgeon on Valentine's Day. So now I'm going to take my brush and kind of flip it over a little bit and just kind of press that into the deep part of my crease. A lot of times when I'm doing my tutorials, well, all the time actually when I'm doing my tutorials, I do my makeup kind of in the way everybody on YouTube does it but honestly when I do my eyes I actually don't do it in that order like day to day that is not how I put on my eye makeup 
So that's what we're doing today. We're doing this the way Layla does her eye makeup. So now I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to go into the shade Primavera because this is the shade is my life. And I'm going to put that on the center of the lid. I'm going to use this um, teeny tiny small Sonia Kashuk brush. Actually, if you weren't aware, Target is no longer carrying Sonia Kashuk. Apparently, the Sonia Kashuk line is not making makeup I don't know if just not for Target or in general so yeah I like that see that's mmm that's pretty and I will pull you guys up nice and tight at the end shot so you can see the eyes up close so now let's do some work on the crease I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit Rossi in a hair for those of you who do not know D-Day is approaching us and what that means in the YouTube world is that somewhere I cut off. I took a little bit of burnt orange on this fluffier brush and took it around the border here just to kind of add a little something, something, why not? And now I'm taking a little bit of tempura. And I'm coming up here, I'm doing the brow bone. But anyway, I was talking about monetization and I don't know where I cut, cut off in that. Basically, if you don't meet 1,000 subscribers and have 4,000 hours of view time, you're being demonetized. Now, 4,000 hours is a lot. That's 240,000 minutes. Now, the reason I thought, for one, that was kind of shady the way they said it is that YouTube, if you're a creator and you're on the inside of YouTube, everything is done in minutes. They didn't want to put on their 240,000 minutes because they knew how people would be like, <gasps> so... If you don't meet those two criteria, your account will be demonetized. What does that mean? Little ads will not play before your videos and you will not receive any revenue or accrue any revenue until you've met the threshold. Again, this is of little significance to me. I'm not even at the halfway point of the subscriber account and I am nowhere near the amount of minute. I'm gonna go ahead and blush now. We're gonna go into this e.l.f. palette here and down into this shade which is about the same shade as red ochre, but it's so pretty. I think it's going to go so well with this. So as I was saying, it's of little significance to me for one, that fact. And because I wasn't going to, it's not like I'm on the precipice of being, of having this opportunity. And two, I didn't get into this to make money. This is my creative outlet. I have a job. I make money. So for me, this isn't a money thing. It's my creative outlet. It's what I like to do. You know, hey, if I were to get paid for doing it, that's just a bonus. And quite frankly, that would just be an excuse for my makeup collection to be even larger. Nobody wants that. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't. I kind of want that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's some things I would love to have. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. It'd be nice. It would be nice. But what I think that it hurts the most are the YouTubers that have like, I think the smallish channels that maybe have five and 10,000 subscribers, but maybe haven't hit that hour threshold. They're going to stop getting paid. And that for them, that might be their income. That really kind of, I think is shady. And another little shady thing I've noticed they've done, has anybody else noticed it? They've been throwing ads at the end of your video. Now you can tell YouTube where to put said ads that you have placed in your videos. You can do them in the front. Some videos you watch, you watch five seconds, you watch two minutes of a stupid ad, two minutes of a stupid ad, two minutes of a stupid ad. Um, so you can, you can set that up. That is something you can set up from inside YouTube. And you can put them on the end of yours. But I have not been including them on the end of my video, but I'll be danged if they're not playing at the end of every video. So I have a feeling, again, YouTube's owned by Google, Google's a money-making machine, that those ads thrown at the end do not count towards advertisement for partnership program. So your ad in the beginning may not play anymore if you're, when your channel, if and when your channel gets demonetized. But I'm bet, willing to bet money that there's gonna be ads stuck on the end of that and that you're not gonna have any control over. So to me, yeah, that's a little shady, a little shady, but you know, hey, it is what it is. You're either going to learn to live with it and get over it, or you're going to find something else to do because this is it. This is the options. There's no vote here. 
nobody is working on the board at Google and going to make this decision or change it. And who knows, in six months, they might change their mind. Who knows? But in the meantime, again, like I said, I am not... It's of little significance to me, but I do know that it is significant for a lot of people and I have been trying to help a lot of people out, help out some smaller channels, you know, help them get their view times up, you know, things like that. So that I will continue to do because I can do that free of charge and I don't mind doing that at all. Now let's do some work on this lower lash line. Cypress Umber is nice and dark and so that one is, because I'm not showing anybody anything, uh, that one is Cypress Umber. Really, really dark, cool tone brown. Like you remember Umber from your box of crayons? The one in the box of 64 that laid over to the side that you never paid any attention to? It's got a spot in here. So now I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into... Oh, jeez. What the heck? Let's have fun. I'm going to go into Venetian Red, which is the shade here right next to Red Ochre. And I'm going to smudge this out, but just right there on, in between the lashes again. I'm not taking it down. Oh, I really like that. It's something just a little bit different. You know, you don't always have to match everything that's on the top with what's on the bottom. You can throw in some punches of color. Why not? I'm throwing in a punch of some like hot pinkish. I mean, Venetian red, it's kind of a hot pinky purple. It's like a hot fuchsia. A hot burgundy. Let's call it hot burgundy. You see that? I always sniffle. Anytime I get around my eyes, my eyes are so sensitive. Yeah, that's something totally different. I'm, I'm really digging that. It's not as much a brush. This is one of the Wet n Wild. It's the large shadow brush. <laughs> I'm going to call it a larger smudgy brush. And I'm going to go into Golden Ochre, which is what I used for that initial transition. That really doesn't throw off a whole lot of color for me because it's high yellow like I am. But it will help mute this out just a little bit and buff it and blend it in. And it'll take off that little bit of harshness. Just that little bit of harshness that it had. Now, I'm not going to do any lashes today. It is just getting too difficult for me, um, honestly, to put them on. It's just, it's just too painful. Now, I'm feeling I want to add a little bit more of the red ochre. Just a little bit deeper to that outer corner. Like I just kind of want to tap that almost on full on. And then I'll blend it up just a little bit because I have almond shaped eyes and they downturn a little at the end. So I always need something to kind of anchor it up if that makes any sense to you. And actually I'm going to do a whole, once this all gets better, I'm going to do a whole 101 for my eye shape for not only shadow, but liner as well because honestly when you have this eye shape it it can be it can be a little bit challenging just to put on eyeshadow it really really can sometimes I get so frustrated you know I am no trained makeup artist I'm an artist in my own mind but I'm not a trained makeup artist and so so some most time my makeup does I mean my eyes usually do look pretty darn flawless especially if I'm bringing them to you all but sometimes it was a struggle to get there <laughs> not gonna lie I figured I'm going with a little heart-shaped highlight because it's Valentine's Day this is the makeup revolution triple baked highlighter and this is the one in goddess of faith and this highlight does not play y'all like it does not play so yes Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I'm serious. This stuff does not play. And I like to kind of buff my highlighter in. And I like to bring it right here on the edge of the apple of my cheek. Because then it kind of almost gives me like that wet, glossy cheek look. Like, I'm going more for that rather than just like streaks of silver. That's, that's what I call some highlight. <laughs> some highlight. And I mean, that's you, you do you, but on me, I just, I can't. It's like, I look at myself, I'm like, okay, I'm not walking around with streaks silver on my face. <laughs> I can't do it. You know, but if you're super young and fun, you know, why not? Sometimes I spend a little bit too much time doing that, but darn it if that ain't pretty. I'm going to fluff just a little bit up here. And we're going to take... 
another small brush and I'm going to highlight my inner corners with that hit that tear duct with this highlight because that's just pretty so I'm going to go ahead and do mascara off camera I'm going to do the total temptation I'm still kind of trying this one out so I don't really have it ready for review on top and of course my clump crusher water resistant on the bottom as always so I got on my mascara now let's do lips I really want to go bold. I mean, my eyes, they're neutral enough. We'll just get over this. So I'm going with the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. And this one is in the shade Devotion. And you got to have a pretty red for Valentine's Day, right? And so this is it. This is our finished look. I'm really loving this. I mean, I had to go red lip. It's Valentine's Day. It just calls for a red lip. And I love red lipstick. Oh, and a lot of people have been complimenting on my nail color. But of course, you know, right before I sit down to film this video, I chip one of them. But... The color I've been using, I don't know why, I've been kind of stuck on this one. I think this is like the third week in a row I've worn this. But this is No Text Red from Sinful Colors. And I just, I love it. I just love this shade of red. I think it's so pretty and so flattering. And so, yeah, probably last three weeks of manicure I've been stuck on this, which is big for me because I usually never wear the same nail polish twice in the same year, let alone the same month. <laughs> Once again, I want to thank you guys, of course, for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly, truly do appreciate it. I hope that wherever you are, you're having a wonderful Valentine's Day. When I get home, I will be spending it with my Valentine. So for those of you who don't know, this is my love. This is my baby. This is Noodle. Noodle is a teacup, little long hair chihuahua. So we want everybody out there, of course, to have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And don't forget, before you leave, make sure that you are. Tell them, Noodle. That's right. Subscribe to my channel. You definitely don't want to miss out on any videos that I have coming up. And I will see you all next time. Hey, bye-bye, baby. Hey, bye-bye. with the worst breath that ever lived. <coughs> it's because he has a small snout. That's what the vet told me because he's got very clean teeth. <laughs> oh, I love you. So hard being such a tiny little puppy. Yes, it is. You are fat. Look how much weight you gained this winter. I bet you gained a whole half a pound. I bet you weigh a whole two and a half pounds now. Put your tongue back in your mouth. Are you looking down in this mirror at yourself? Oh my goodness. And we think I have vanity problems? Hey!